Our job is to do the research, do the prep, buckle up, and go for the ride. So uh, with that said then, uh, were you a fan of Tolkien's works prior to joining on for the series? Yeah. I mean, one of the first, uh, my brother is older than me and infinitely more intelligent. And uh, the first book he ever gave me was The Hobbit. It, you know, it was my first big boy book. And um, since then, we've had this kind of familial experience of Tolkien's writing. And I mean, I love the cartoon for crying out loud. I, I love the Peter Jackson movies, anything about it. Um, I can get my hands on, I, I want to study and be immersed in. So it's a real pleasure to have found myself in a job where they pay me to read Tolkien. <laughs> well, uh, even though you're as big of a fan of it, did you find that there was any hesitation or uh, cons or like fear of, of getting the material right uh, and coming into the show, given you're such a big uh, fan of it? Well, of course, uh, and as, there, as it should be, I mean, I would worry about the actor who walks onto the set casually. Um, I don't, I don't mind the pressure. I think that's what respect and reverence deserves. Um, you know, I, I, I want to feel nervous because I, I, I want to get it right, and I want to make sure that I'm working as hard as I can, and we're getting the best out of everyone who's united in this pursuit of a singular vision. It, that's. That's part of the fun. If it doesn't count, don't play the game. I, li I like it. It, 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 it. it should matter, it does matter. The interesting thing about Gilgalad as a character is that as far as uh, audiences go, they haven't really seen much of him outside of a brief shot in uh, Fellowship. So I'm curious what that was like for you getting to expand that character further for, uh, for those who haven't read the book. Um, an honor. I mean, it, luckily there's enough source material for for you to start with, um, and uh, there's enough material about the context of when he served and what his legacy would have been. And um, I don't know. Whenever I didn't know what to do, I just returned to the book. I'd return to the text, and um, he, he, Tolkien created these narratives to have a life of their own. Our job is to do the research, do the prep, buckle up and go for the ride. So what can we expect then uh, from Gilgaland, uh, or Gilgalad, sorry, coming in this first season? Well, we can expect some things that we know. Um, for example, he is by far one of the most prescient of the elves. He can anticipate the impending rise of evil before anyone else. And so when we find him at the beginning of the series in this period of relative peace, for him, we know that it's deeply unsettling and that he's setting about the long chess game of how to protect Middle-earth from evil. Um, you know, the, the stillness of an elf is easy to underestimate. But Gil Galad, uh, I mean, he's just vibrating on another level, um, and he's tapped into the health and well-being of Middle Earth in a way that no other elf is. Uh, can we also look forward to uh, an expansion of the relationship between him and Elrond uh, at all in the show? Oh, very much so. Um, you know, the, they have a kind of mentor-mentee relationship. And uh, Gil Galad is the kind of leader that we wish we had, someone who brings out the best in us and encourages us to begin the first steps in the journey of our destiny. And he does that very much for Elrond um, in the way a loving parent would, um, to encourage you to be your better self and to do things as if uh, you thought it was your idea. <laughs> That, that that's the the way a parent shows love is to to shepherd you in the right direction but also give you the strength and the volition to take ownership of that journey so uh with that said then what was it like developing a rapport with uh robert aramayo off camera before bringing it into your scenes together uh effortless i mean he's a, a, a charming man an incredibly talented actor um he is a Tolkien scholar, um, and uh, we just 
we really hit it off. We also went to the same college, so we had a, a kind of acting vocabulary shorthand, which was incredibly helpful because I do think Gil Galad and Elrond do kind of share an unspoken communication. Uh, Gil Galad recognizes that the half elf needs to prove himself, and um, Gil Galad also recognizes that. There is infinite potential uh, for him, and uh, he just needs a little guidance. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat. I really do appreciate it. My pleasure. I hope you like it as much as we loved making it. <laughs>